Hello there. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. Um, welcome back. So um, I wanted to let you guys know that I am working on um, Krabby Patties right now. And this kit is massive. It's definitely taking me a little while to work on, but um, I should be done with it um, next week. So you guys will, I promise, see a video on that next week, I can assure you. <laughs> um, but I didn't want to leave you guys hanging without a video, so I finally wanted to kind of like have my dedicated video for celebrating a thousand subscribers. And what better way to celebrate this time right around my two year diamond painting anniversary? So I wanted to kind of just take a moment to um, talk about, I guess, like how I discovered diamond painting and as well as how it got me through 2020. Um, so you guys don't have to look at my face. There's not going to be any time lapse or anything. Um, it's just going to be me talking so you can put me on while you're diamond painting or doing whatever. Um, but stay tuned because <laughs> so, you might see a little something special later on in the video. So keep a keep a ear open or an eye out for that. That'll be that'll be in this video. So I guess 2020 was definitely um, an interesting year. Um, I think that's the understatement of the year, honestly. <laughs> and it was not a good time. I promise I won't get too negative about it because um, I want to maintain positive, most positivity, but um, I want to be real about that. Uh, 2020 was not a fun time for me, as I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that fact or statement. But um, in March of 2020, I was in college and when everything started happening, we were sent home. Um, college, you know, college students were um, sent home and our spring break, instead of lasting a week, lasted two weeks. And it was basically just like a time of uncertainty. I luckily had the video game Animal Crossing as a great distraction and that was, it came out at the perfect time. So Animal Crossing was um, a huge part of my life at that point and so every day I would play it and it was just, you know, a great distraction which I think everyone needed at that point. Um, but it was around like May or June when I was kind of just like stuck in this endless cycle. It was like Groundhog Day, basically. I would wake up, go outside to go for a run, because that was kind of the only time I could go outside was to exercise um, during lockdown. I would come back, do my online classes and everything, any homework or anything, um, play Animal Crossing, eat, and then sleep, and then repeat. Wake up, work out, school. Animal Crossing, or maybe not Animal Crossing, because I got kind of a little bored of it after a few months of doing it every day. But it was just the non-stop, endless loop, and nothing was getting better in the world, and it was just awful. And Animal Crossing at in around June, um, in July, like it no longer brought me that same excitement and joy. You know, after playing it non-stop every day for a few months, that was bound to happen. And I was drawing for a little bit and, but nothing was coming out of that. Well, not nothing, but I wasn't, I wasn't, I was starting to get burnt out from that. And I was kind of just like at a point where like nothing was exciting me. I wasn't getting excited about anything. There was nothing to do like at that point in the world. You couldn't go out and do things. You couldn't, I couldn't go see my friends friends or um, family and it was just not a fun time and yeah so um, end of June beginning of July I saw a few Instagram like video ads about diamond painting and I wasn't sure what that was I was kind of intrigued seeing a, a few time-lapse videos and um, like a few finished like f videos of some finished diamond paintings and I thought that was really cool. So before I even ordered my first diamond painting, I 
went on YouTube and I started watching some videos. And so that's how I discovered like Rachel Ray, um, Miss Coffee. Um, who else? Well, M Rachel Ray, Miss Coffee, and then um, a diamond painter known as Foreign Service Crafter. And so I got to learn a lot about diamond painting um, while I was waiting for my first kit to arrive. So by the time it arrived, I was so ready to get started and I was so excited. I remember showing it to my mom and yeah. And so, so the first diamond painting I ever worked on and I'll put a photo up is um, like a stained glass artwork style of Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Obviously it's not a licensed picture, but I think we can all relate that most of our firsts were not licensed, but that's besides the point. Um, I opened it up and just started working on it right away. And I was excited about something again, which is a little silly now to say and to think back on. But at that time, it was just so important for me to have something to look forward to doing. It was like I would wake up and I had something to look forward to do and I would jump out of bed. Whereas before that was not happening um, at all. So I think I finished that kit in like less than a week. So before I had even finished that kit, I had ordered my next one and I was so excited. And, the, and I think my second one was, um, vintage style Mickey Donald Goofy, another Amazon kit. Love that one. I think I finished that one in a week also. And it was just, oh, I was so excited. And so I st started learning about Diamond Art Club and Heartful Diamonds and a few other places. Um, and so then I started seeing Foreign Service Crafters video, I guess, whip and chat series of her working on the Heartful Diamonds um, Princess Ensemble Kit. And that thing is massive. It is 70 centimeter by 100 centimeter. Um, and I ordered it because at that time, the Disney parks were closed. And for those of you who know, I love Disney and I love going to the park. So I was very heartbroken knowing that I could not go. But if I couldn't go to the parks, I could at least have a cool arts and crafts project to work on that brought me say, the same joy as when I go to the parks and when I think about Disney. So I get the kit and it's like I went th from a 30 by 40 centimeter kit to a 70 by 100 centimeter kit, which is insane. And it was my first square. Mind you, this is also my third kit, which is insane. So I remember when I opened it up at this point, it was like August when I got this kit. I opened up the kit and my parents saw how huge it was. And they were just like, how are you going to finish that before you have to go back to college because this thing is too big for you to take with you to a dorm and I I think at that point I was like I'm gonna finish this before I go back to college I had like a month I finished it in about three weeks <laughs> I think I I have to look again but I think it took me um oh, I should have double checked this I think it took me either 21 or 27 days in between that period of time so I opened this kit up it's massive. My first square, my first, I guess, real professional looking kit. And I worked on that kit every single day while listening to Foreign Service Crafters whip and chat videos. So she's working on the same kit that I'm working on. And it was just like the first time that I felt connected with like, or started feeling connected with the diamond painting community while working on a diamond painting. And it was Disney. And it was just like a combination of all of these things that made me feel so happy in a time where that was not a common occurrence. And I am forever grateful to that kit and the fun, happy memories that I have associated with that kit, which is why I have this kit, um, there were the finished diamond painting hung up above, um, my bedroom or my bed in my bedroom. Um, I'll put up a photo of it as well as um, maybe a video showing the sparkle because that thing is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun working on it. And from there, I just learned more about the diamond painting community. And I'm just grateful to the diamond painting community, to foreign service crafter, 
all of those other YouTubers that I watched and, um, and you guys now. <laughs> um, Cause now I have a YouTube channel and I have my own little tiny corner of the diamond painting community internet area. And you guys are here and watching and crafting with me and I just appreciate it so much. So thank you. Truly thank you. I, I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Um, even though I might not be able to rattle off every single person who is um, a subscriber of mine because there's over 1,330 of you now, which is, it blows my mind. <laughs> um, I know the world is huge and there's millions and billions of people out there, um, but it's just mind boggling. Every single time I look at my sub subscriber count and I just think of like how many individual people that entails. So thank you. Um, yeah. So, oh, that was a lot to unpack. Um, but please let me know if you guys um, can relate at all to what I was saying. If diamond painting was your quarantine hobby and let me know just, I guess, how you discovered diamond painting um, and maybe a little bit more of your journey, because I do like to hear about that stuff. It's very interesting to me to see how, like where people started from when it comes to diamond painting and how it's helped them out. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm gonna go get something real quick because I got a little present for you guys. Oh God, this took me a little while to find. <laughs> it was under my bed, but um, I, as promised a while ago, and am going to be giving away um, this kit for you guys. It is Train of Dreams. And it's funny, but I, you know, I accidentally bought two of Train of Dreams and um, that is like one of my more popular videos, which is really funny of me working on Train of Dreams. So I think it's kind of fitting for me to give this away to one of you. Um, it is sealed, like still plastic wrap sealed. I have not opened this at all. Um, I live in a house full of pets, um, two cats and a dog, um, but it's a non-smoking household. And I want one of you guys to have it because I want to give back to you guys as a thank you. If whoever wins this lives in the um, US, I will pay for the shipping. But if you are international, um, if you do want to um, submit a submission to try to earn this kit, um, I do ask that you pay for the shipping. Um, I hope I hope that's okay. I hope that's fair. <laughs> Um, so what I want you guys to do to, ow, I just hit myself with it, to enter to try to win this kit is in the comment section, um, can you try to fit in the word, um, dream, dreams, dream, tell me about an interesting dream that you had, try to, please don't make it obvious that it's a code word for a giveaway, um, cause I want someone who, um, really wants this kit to enter and I don't want it to be obvious that there's a giveaway in this. But, um, yeah, so have fun entering. Today is, um, well, when this video is going up, it is um, Saturday, July 16th. So Saturday, July 16th. So you have until today, up until Saturday, July 23rd to enter your um, comment, your submission. And after that, on the 24th of, you know, July, <laughs> Sunday, I will be polling um, the winner. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Oh, I've never done a giveaway before, so I hope this goes well. Oh, I'm not, I better not jinx myself, I swear. But yeah, so one of you guys earned this kit. I'm excited to see who gets it. And thank you. Thank you again, guys. Um, so yeah, that's it for me. I know it was a shorter video, but I know you guys will understand. I also have posted, um, a video of me working on a Die Moon Shop paint by number kit as well as um, my Disney trip So if you guys want some other videos to watch and you haven't seen those um, go watch those, please um, Those videos haven't been Haven't ha a lot of people haven't watched those videos. So maybe you've missed out on it. I don't know <laughs> I know YouTube videos don't do great in the summertime. I've, I've heard this information from others, but Yeah, so I'm gonna let you guys go I'm very much looking forward to finishing Krabby Patties and I will see you guys in the next video.